Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about steroid and steroid use in dogs. Now, steroids, guys, are commonly used in the veterinary world, and the goal is to reduce inflammation. That's the thought process of it. Now, if you give too much or you go too high on a steroid, you can have more of a generalized um, immunosuppression. So, we think of steroids, and a veterinary gives steroids, they're going to do it for a couple different reasons. And, and one is going to be for inflammation. So maybe you have a skin, a skin infection, maybe an ear infection. Um, you know, all these different things can cause uh, a lot of irritation and discomfort and need something to be calm it down. As well, if a dog has like bronchitis or an upper airway or a rhinitis, um, a chronic rhinitis, all these could benefit from a possible steroid. Now, if you have a really bad situation, let's say your dog is, has an autoimmune condition, maybe they have cancer, um, maybe they have a really, really deep-seated uh, inflammatory issue like frunculosis, these doggies, guys, will need something stronger. And the way you do stronger in dogs is you increase your dose. So by doing an increased dose of steroids, you're going to have more suppression. And instead of just controlling inflammation, you're going to suppress the immune system. So if you have autoimmune conditions like platelet issues, or IMHA um, and lupus or pemphigus or all these different immune issues or if you have a cancer issue in some cases uh, an increased dose of steroids can reduce the, the problem at hand and make the doggy healthier and more comfortable. Now always consult your veterinarian because steroid therapy is kind of challenging. You don't want to do it forever. Chronic steroid therapy can be very detrimental to the doggy's overall health, uh, making them more cushioned in appearance and affecting lab work. Uh, Short-term steroid therapy is a good option in some cases for uh, acute issues that need um, uh, direct attention for inflammation. And in some situations, like I mentioned before, autoimmune issues that need a higher dose of steroids may be treated for a longer period of time. Veterinarians are very familiar with steroid therapy just because it is uh, commonly prescribed. The most common steroid prescribed is uh, prednisone, of course, and prednisone can work very well for the handful of reasons I just mentioned. All right, guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. I hope that really helps. If you've had any experience with steroid therapy with your doggies, uh, please share below. Let me know how it went, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Take care. Bye.